Okay, so tonight's um, singing lesson or singing challenge, um, we're going to explore Anita Baker's song, No One. And so we're just going to, you know, play around, you know, with that. Of course, the reason why I provide these is for those of you who are interested in learning how to be better vocalists and even some of you who are just emerging, you know, as singers, um, ways that you can explore songs that can fit you, especially ones that you feel are really um, out of your range, don't really fit or suit your voice. There's there's different ways that you can um, explore these different songs and, yeah, stretch your vocals a little bit, <laughs> you know, so that you can actually, um, you know, perform better. Or just for those of you who just want to learn how to sing just a little bit better, you know, um, then, then this is for you as well. So we're going to play around, as I mentioned, with just, you know, a few of the verses or things within the chorus. And, and also, I would love for you to share in the comments below. Drop a link of you singing your own variations, you know, of this because it can help other people, you know, as well. So I'm going to play around a little bit with um, the chorus. I've done, you know, covers of this, um, you know, before. So, um, okay. And no one in the world to hold me. No one in the world's going to move me. No one in the world can love me like you do, baby. All right, so that's just a little something, and and kind of closer to the cadence that she that she would use, um, but you can do it in a different way. So we can slow it down, we can speed it up. So let's let's start speeding it up first, and then we'll do a version where we're slowing it down. So, cause there's no one in the world to hold me, no one in the world's gonna move me, no one in the world's gonna love me like you do, baby. All right, so then we'll slow it down. Cause there's no one in the world to hold me. No one in the world to move me. No one in the world can love me like you do, baby. So you can extend, you know, the notes. Um, it, it just depends. Like I said, it's just best to play around with it and actually... Um, use your voice in different ways because sometimes you know we sing in one kind of one note one dimensional type of singing but you'd be surprised that if you actually stretch yourself you actually can get into another dimension of your voice and what I mean by another dimension of your voice it, it's, it is another not just a, a range but it actually sounds a little bit different right so um, yeah <laughs> be part of your uniqueness so um, so let's like continue with the, the rest of that chorus, all right? So I am gonna start over in a sense and then kind of sing just a little bit more, okay? Cause there's no one in the world to hold me. No one in the world's gonna move me. No one in the world can love me like you do, baby. Every time I'm with someone loving you, yes, I wanna run and I wanna run back to your arms again. And no one in the world loves me like you do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so let's do it a little bit different. So I'm going to speed it up and then we'll do, you know, slow down. And even as I'm doing that, sometimes I'm going to be guided to do it a little bit different. So I'll start off, but I just had to kind of go with the energy in a sense, with the, with the flow. But um, my intention in a sense is to bring one that's a little bit more, um, you know, accelerated in terms of, you know the rapid and it it causes you to have to control your breath a little bit differently so it's good to challenge yourself in that way okay cause there's no one in the world to hold me no one in the world's gonna move me no one in the world can love me like you do baby every time i'm with someone loving you yes i wanna run and i wanna run back to your arms again and no one in the world loves me like you do okay so let's take that part and slow it down too so cause there's no one in the world to hold me no one in the world's gonna move me no one in the world can love me like you do baby every time i'm with someone Loving you, yes, I want to run, and I want to run back to your arms again. 
and no one in the world loves me like you do. So again, there's a lot of different variations. So even if you want to do kind of the bridge, please take me back, cause I can't go on. I'm not happy in my life without you. So there's just a lot of different ways that you can do it, but I would encourage you to play around, all right? And, and don't feel, you know, if you're not doing it in front of people, don't feel, you know, ashamed to kind of um, butcher the song a little bit. But, you know, for those of you who are performers, um, being able to have a different level of control, but not just control, different ways that you can actually demonstrate a song so that when you perform it at different times, you're not just sounding like the same you know, person over and over. Of course, you do want to have some uniqueness where people can listen and say, oh, yes, that's a unique sound that this particular artist has. But don't be afraid to actually mix up um, your, your voice and, and how, how you sound. It's good to have different ranges that you can play with, that you can operate and demonstrate, you know, just flexibility of your artistry, I would say. So um, I would love for you, of course, to do your own version. Um, and as I always say, share it below so that other people can can benefit you know from uh, what you're sharing and, and don't be don't be ashamed because everybody has different ways that they sing songs or different ways that they you know perform songs <laughs> but uh yeah so i just wanted to be able to come forth you know um and, and do that so play around with that and again let me know uh, or just share with us and also too you can tell us a little bit about your experience but if you want to do a couple of variations or so please feel free to do that again we're all here to to help each other and some of you are not trying to you know go on American Idol or some of the bigger shows the voice or different things you just you want to be able to just you know perform or sing better just even around the house but for those again who are um, you know, performers in a sense, and maybe you aren't trying to go out to those competitions. And so you just want to entertain or uplift people. Um, this is a good way to just, you know, keep practicing um, and honing your craft and doing different variations of it. And you'll find the right unique audience that's going to be suitable for um, you and what you're bringing about. Okay, so I'll be back with more um, singing lessons uh, soon.